Brain fog, insomnia, moodiness, weight gain. Maybe you think they're just part of getting older, but Midi Health understands that for women over 40, they can all connect to menopause. It's at the root of dozens of symptoms we experience, not just hot flashes. Midi clinicians are menopause experts offering safe, effective, FDA-approved solutions covered by insurance. 91% of Midi patients get relief from symptoms within just two months. Book your virtual visit today at joinmidi.com. Every year, one thing is always predictable. Postage costs go up. Stamps.com gives you crazy discounts for up to 89% off USPS and UPS services, so your business will barely notice the change. Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses just like yours. It's like your own personal post office. No lines, no traffic, no waiting. Sign up with promo code PROGRAM for a four-week trial, plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. That's Stamps.com code PROGRAM. Now for our story. It was unusual for Carla Descari to go into Wakefield with her husband. Mario usually preferred his lovely wife to stay at home, at the big farm a few miles out of town, tending her garden or tidying the pleasant house which Carla kept immaculately clean. But today the young Italian girl had been allowed to go along, and since they would be in town at noon, Mario had insisted that his wife pack a little lunch for herself. He didn't want her to go into a restaurant, didn't want her to be noticed and admired by other men. Only he, said Mario, had the right to enjoy her beauty. And because she loved Mario and wanted more than anything else to please him, Carla gladly agreed. But now Carla is sitting on a bench in the square. She has finished her lunch and is scattering crumbs to the doves and pigeons which hop about her feet. Well, come along. Come along. Here, Grey Wing. This is for you. Oh, now, don't be greedy. Let the little ones have a bit. Oh, wait. What's the matter? Oh, hello there, Carla. Oh, oh hello, Aunt Mary. <laughs> I'm just talking to my old friend. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I frightened them all away. Oh, they'll come back, though. You know, it's been a long time since I came into town, but I do believe the birds remember me. I don't wonder if you always give them such a feast. How have you been, Carla? It's been a long time since I've seen you, too. Yes, it has, Aunt Mary. Too long. In fact, uh, well, I don't believe I've seen you since Mario came back from the Army. That's right. Goodness. It's almost four months. Hmm. Well, yes, it is. <laughs> I don't know where the time goes. And then Mario usually does his shopping, so I stay home. But today I'm going to buy some material to make new curtains for the living room. <laughs> and Mario couldn't choose that for me. <laughs> I should say not. Although he can do just about anything else, I guess. I read about him in the paper, about his getting all those medals. You must be proud of him. I am. Mario's very brave. He's afraid of nothing. It's so wonderful having him home again. It must be, my dear. I remember how lonely you were while he was away. It was awful. And then the farm got run down. But now you should see it. With the money Mr. Mead got for it, the loan, you wouldn't recognize the place, Aunt Mary. Yeah, I must come over and see what you've done. Bill's told us a little. He has a lot of respect for Mario's ability. Yes. He and Mary are good friends. We don't see many people, except the family, mostly. And, well, it's nice to have a little company sometimes. Yes, indeed it is. I think maybe Mr. Mead's a little lonesome. He's had his troubles, too, I guess. But he can be a lot of fun sometimes. <laughs> he and Mary will laugh and joke like a couple of kids. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you looking so well, Carla. I wish I could stay in chat, but... You remember my son, Randy? Yes, I should say I do. He was graduating from high school when I started in. Yeah, that's right. Well, he's a very impatient young man. And I can see him up across from the bank right now, standing by the truck, wondering what in the world is keeping me. <laughs> then you'd better hurry. I know what it's like to be late. They don't like it. No. But drive over sometime, Aunt Mary. Bring Peggy if she'd like to come. I will. And I want to see those new curtains of yours. Goodbye, Carla. Well, goodbye, Aunt Mary. Carla Descari watched Aunt Mary's neat figure as the older woman hurried away. She was thinking what a kind, friendly person Mrs. Lane was, and in her dreamy way, she lost consciousness of her surroundings for a moment. She came back to the present with a start as... Well, this is Mario Descari in person. Oh, Mr. Mead, I didn't hear you. I was watching you as I came along the walk, Carla. You know what I decided? No, what? Well, I was thinking I'd speak to the city fathers and ask them to offer you a job. A job? For me? Mm-hmm. 
All you'd do would be to sit here on a bench every day at noon. But why should I do that? Because you look so pretty sitting here with the green all around you, feeding the birds. Oh, you give this square just what it needs, a touch of color. Oh, Mr. Mead, you're teasing me. And I was just telling Aunt Mary what a nice man you are. Were you really? Yes, I really was. She was asking about the farm, and I told her how helpful you've been to us. You know, every other day, Mario says, that Mr. Mead, he's a swell fellow. Well, thank you, Carla. That makes me feel good. And not that I deserve it. Oh, yes, you do. I'll tell you a little secret, Mr. Mead. <laughs> well, I like secrets. Well, while Mario was away, Grandfather talked about asking Mr. Calvert for a loan. Oh, he did? Mm-hmm. He said Mr. Calvert would be glad to give us one because our land's so good. But I'm glad he didn't. Because then we never would have known you. Oh, well, that's sweet of you, Carla. Hey, uh, where is that handsome husband of yours? Gallivanting around, I suppose. Gallivant? Well, I don't even know what that means. But I'm sure whatever it means that Mario isn't doing it. <laughs> you see, there's something wrong with the tractor. Mario went to find what it needs to fix it. And then he has to get a lot of other things. To, well, I forget what all. The paint for the veranda. Well, he does sound like a busy man. Mario's always busy. He's a hard worker, Mr. Mead. Yes, I know. <laughs> well, come to think of it, I, I better get started on the rest of my own errands. I'm to meet him in an hour, and Mario hates to wait. I always try to be right on time. Yeah, well, you're a very unusual woman. <laughs> you know, you sound awfully cheerful today. Are you happy? I am, Mr. Mead. Now that Mario's back from the war, safe. Makes everything look beautiful to me. I love him very much. Yes, I know you do. You two are lucky people. Yes, we are. I know it. If only... <laughs> but I must hurry. Oh, wait. I'll walk along with you. Uh, although it's so nice here in the shade, I almost hate to move. <laughs> then why don't you stay and have a nap? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have you know I'm not old enough to be snoozing on park benches in the middle of the afternoon. Grandma says in Italy everyone takes a nap, a siesta, after lunch. Well, if it were fashionable, I wouldn't mind. But after all, you know, I have a reputation to maintain in this town. Now, what would people think if they found me with my hat over my eyes at one o'clock in the afternoon? Well, I don't know, Mr. Mead. I guess they'd say you were sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> The laughter of the young people carried across the square to where Ben Calvert stood on the sidewalk in front of the open door to his offices. He watched them walk away together. And as he stood there, Ben was conscious of the townspeople looking at him. He imagined their contemptuous thoughts, their sneers. He felt an upsurge of impotent fury. But he forced it back and smiled genially as he saw a dark-haired young man approaching him. It was Carla's husband, Mario Discari. Uh, hello, Mario. Hello, Mr. Calvert. How have you been, Mario? I heard you were back, but I haven't seen you around much. Well, Mr. Calvert, I, I've only been home a couple of months. I don't get into town much. Too busy. Well, it's good to be busy. I'm a pretty busy man myself. Yeah, I know. I, uh, I've been wondering what you plan to do with that south field of yours. That's fine land, Mario. Fine land. Sure it is. Well, I haven't made up my mind, Mr. Calvert. I may put in barley. What makes you ask? <laughs> you might call it just plain curiosity, Mario. I'm really a farmer at heart. And I've always thought that place of yours was just about the finest around here. It's the best. You know, all the time I was away in France and Belgium and Germany, I kept thinking, this land isn't as good as mine. I I'd pick up a clod of earth, crumble it. Didn't feel right. Not like the earth at home. That's right, Mario. No place like home, you know. Yeah. Well, so long, Mr. Uh, Calvert, I got... What's your hurry, Mario? I, I'm meeting my wife in the square. She'll be waiting. Well, I saw Carl a little while ago. She's not waiting around for you. She went off with another man. What are you saying? <laughs> oh, Mario, take it easy. It was just a joke. I don't like that kind of joke. Did you see Carl with somebody or not? She was talking to Bill Mead. Bill Mead? Yes. Oh, uh, that's different. He's a very good friend of mine, Bill Mead. Mario spoke sincerely, warmly. But Ben Calvert had seen the flash of anger which crossed his face a moment before at the mention of his wife's name in connection with another man, any man, even if it happened to be his good friend, Bill Mead. And seeing the somber, threatening look which completely transformed the handsome young man's face, Ben Calvert grew thoughtful. Listen up, I won't sugarcoat it. 
This is the longest cold flu and allergy season we've ever seen, but we're not alone. We've got Instacart. Sure, you may be a coughing snot faucet who just wants mommy, but you're not giving up! Not when cold medicine, fragrant herbal teas, and honey shaped like bears can be delivered through Instacart in as fast as 30 minutes! Now let's go win the sick playoffs! Daddy, I just want my soup. Oh, sorry, Sport App says it'll be here in, in a few minutes. <laughs> Instacart for the win.